at the top this Thursday. Corpus Christi City Council had another budget workshop today, and that one thing that came out of the meeting is that city employees won't be losing their jobs. But as our Michael Gibson reports, they may end up being offered other positions either within their department or outside of it. Michael? Yes, a lot of good news coming out of this meeting. This year, the city budget sits at $1.8 billion. Around 990 million of that is the operating budget. The rest is part of capital expenditures, which right now is inflated due to desal investment. Now today's budget workshop focused on the library, code enforcement, parks and rec, plus employee compensation and benefits. City staff has made new recommendations on what cuts to make based on council and community response. Now the Garcia Library and the Oso Wetlands Learning Center, which you see right here, were set to be closed, but now it appears they're going to stay open. The mayor says she's in talks with one organization to take over the Learning Center and its education program. Let's talk about the Oso Preserve. Um, I'm speaking with an organization currently who is very interested in taking over that facility and, and running it. So it would be, you know, we, we get creative. We do a lease, some sort of lease, or we'll see what happens. But those are the conversations that are being uh, had. After listening to council and city staff, it does sound like the Garcia Library will remain open until the city builds a brand new Southside Library to replace it probably sometime in 2027. Again, there are still proposals and other things that could change over the coming weeks. But one thing that city leaders are standing behind is their promise that no employees will lose their job. Instead, they will be moved from a job that's being eliminated to one that is open and unfilled but needed. So we would have hired somebody. We still are going to hire somebody, just somebody from within. So all along that vacancy would have been filled with somebody. So we moved the person over here and this position that they were in originally gets deleted or removed. And that's where your salary savings comes from. What's going on? Now staff has found cost savings in other places such as reducing overtime pay and defunding positions and a number of those positions among the 400 vacant ones that it has right now. Now two of those would be in the form of not filling a vacant assistant city manager position along with the executive assistant. That's a savings of somewhere around $350,000 for the year that those positions would basically be left vacant. Now the city is holding another community budget meeting tonight in District 3. Of course, anyone from around the city can show up and take part in these discussions. Also, council will vote on the final budget in just over a month, and that will be at its September 10th meeting. Rudy Leslie.